Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And today I'm doing a little bit of maintenance. I'm just going around um, doing all the stuff that most people do off camera. I mean, I realise that it's not the most exciting thing, but it's there's a lot of that that needs to be done in this pack. And I was just here chopping down trees, um, getting supplies. And I thought, I might as well just film it and talk to you guys while I'm doing it. Because then I end up spending like three hours preparing. <laughs> just so I can have an episode. So I might as well just, you know, spend that time. And then we can get thing, get some stuff done. So, um, where are we? Is that just sitting there? I don't know. So yeah, I've been um, mostly chopping down trees. I have a ton of trees in my inventory. A ton of logs, I should say. Um, I need to have a look in a minute and see if I'm full. I don't think I am. Because I did come out with an empty inventory. But I need to do... I needed to get some logs to put into... Um, into the furnaces because I don't have a lot of coal because I still haven't been um, mining there's one thing I haven't done so I was just chopping down loads of trees because we have this forest out here and trying to get um, logs and saplings for my different work tables it's getting dark I worked out how to teleport with my sword where's home? Where's over there okay no shift and right click okay um i think i better get home quick before i go and shift and right click okay that was a bit weird almost went and put myself in a wall but there you go but yeah you shift and right click and that will teleport you because I was I, I had started watching a couple of let's plays and somebody had found the ender and it's like oh you can teleport and I didn't see what they did so it was kind of cool to see well that's exactly what you do Okay, we've got uh, one, two, three, four stacks of logs. Maybe five, five, five and a half if you count the the other logs that I have. Got loads of saplings. Let's plant some of these rubber tree saplings outside. Did anything get a chance to spawn outside? I don't think it did. Uh, let's put these trees along here, I think. But I started to um, to make... From the quest that we did last week with the vacuum tubes and stuff, I started to set up workbench tables. Workbench? Workbench tables? Is that correct? That doesn't sound right. Um, I started to set up the, the work tables so that we can get a little bit of a uh, of an assembly line going let's harvest you as well but um but yeah i really need to go mining but i feel a bit lost because you know or excavator isn't in it yes i know i had added it before but then with one of the updates there was there was there's been a ton of um recent updates so um i haven't put it back in and i'd only really put it in for the to chop down trees because i just got fed up of chopping them down one by one and that is covered that functionality is covered by the um the lumberjack axe so i took out ore excavator but i there's got to be some way of 
of mining lots of stuff but I don't know what that is yet and I'm not that well versed in other mods to try and see what that is okay let's see what I have mined so far I think there's a lot of coal in the basement if I take out this stuff so I have a clean um, inventory again and tiny progressions isn't in this I think we've established that um, oh yes I wanted can you burn planks as well that's 300 ticks yeah you can Right, let's make some charcoal. Right, let's move. No, don't want you. You're going to do that, aren't you? Right, I want you there. I want you there. And let's get some charcoal going. Because uh, rubber wood... Does rubber wood burn? I mean, do you get... Rubber wood gives you jungle wood planks. Alright, so that is all of that. If I put in another stack of... If I break the wood down into planks... Can I get charcoal from that though? Nope. Okay, so I need the logs to make charcoal. And the planks, I can burn them though. Alright, the Leo. Le. Le. Pio. No. Leopard. Lepidolite, lepid, yeah, lepidolite. I don't know. That dust. I have. N I should see what you make with that. Okay. Um. L e p i o. No. I. So you get get dust out of it. But what can you use it for? Oh. Oh. That gives you a block. But what do you use it for? Can you see what the uses are? You can't make ingots out of it. You just get dust. You can smelt it. Um, you just get dust out of it. I don't know what the dust does. But you can turn it into blocks for easy storage. Um, you don't want to go into the crafting table. Okay, that's fine. Uh, balance grid? No. Balance grid. And let's put that in here. I have no idea what you do with it. Okay, we have lots of charcoal. We have, we're getting lots of coal. Do I have more coal in here? Um, mag no, that's iron. Some of this stuff is iron. Um, tetrahedrite, that is copper. Stib, stib, stib night. Have no idea what that is. Some of this stuff you only find out what it is after. I wonder if this isn't can output to a chest. Um, I don't know. 
we'd need some kind of cable, not cables, ducks and whatever. All right, let's put these here. Take these out. I I really don't know. I think these can these have places in the in our drawers over here. I would really love a compacting drawer, but we can't use one yet because the recipe is just something we can't do yet. So that's what charcoal. I've got coal. Nickel. Nope. Oh, that can go there. Copper. Oh, I thought I had copper. What else can we put away? And then I can go down in the basement and mine. But when you when you watch um, YouTubers and stuff, they tend to gloss over this. But it's kind of like you know, sometimes as a especially as a as a uh, a Minecrafter who you know you don't really know much of how I mean. A lot of people watch Let's Plays to see how to do certain things. And there are certain things that are, ta are taken for granted. So it's kind of like, yeah, you've seen me mine. You've seen me do this. You've seen me do that. You know how to mine stuff. But sometimes, actually, you do want to see how other people do it. Oh, I, want oh, I had wanted to take down these walls, didn't I? I'm not going to use the diamond, the diamond um, hammer, though. Um, do I have... well this one's almost done. That one's almost done, we can use that one. I'm pretty sure I have enough durability left in that to take down the walls. But you know, you don't see people making stuff and... Um, what's the word? Just doing the mundane day-to-day -day stuff. And while I wouldn't want to see it in every single episode, there are some times where you're like, well, okay, but how did you, you know, how did you get to that conclusion? How did you do that? How did you work that out? How did you, how did you know what to mine, where to mine it? And, you know, lots of stuff like that. So sometimes I think episodes like this is good because then you get to see how you know, we c we're not all brilliant at mods and doing things. And sometimes the most simple things that you think everybody knows, not everybody does know that. So, you know, sometimes it's good to, to just see, well, okay, oh, that's how you do it. That's how you teleport from point A to point B or set up these particular servos or just find the stuff that you're finding I don't know but yeah it took me a long time to work out how to how to do certain things in modded because like I said I never really played vanilla I never really got into vanilla minecraft because how I got into minecraft was basically um, from seeing my son watching YouTube videos and I thought well I might as well see what he's looking what he's watching because you know you, you you want as a parent you want to know what your kids are watching and I've always seen Minecraft and it's like oh you know okay it's that game that looks like Lego that people build you know houses and um, yachts or you know do some kind of building thing fine and my son used to love to build in Minecraft I mean he still does he builds really you know I shouldn't say rubbish houses because some of his stuff is actually quite good for um, a six-year-old, I think he was like three at the time, and he was building some really cool stuff that he'd seen on um, some other video. I can't remember which one. I know I don't need that. Ugh, never mind. And um, but then a streamer that I was watching at the time, he was playing modded Minecraft for the very first time. And I saw that and thought, I need to get into that. 
Okay, if we stay on this level... Uh, what's that, gold? Yeah, let's go this way. And, um... Yeah. And that's how I discovered modded Minecraft. And I thought, I want to get into that. I want to find out how he does it. I want to find out how you do certain things. We need... We need torches. I don't have torches. I forgot the torches. <gasps> Oh dear, right. But I thought, yeah, that's that's what I want to do. That's what I want to play. So I've never really played vanilla Minecraft. I'm not, I mean, up to now, I will play Minecraft with my friends. And I'll start playing vanilla Minecraft thinking, yep, this time round, I'm going to play it. I'm going to enjoy myself. And then it's like, actually, I'm not really enjoying myself because I miss Moddy too much. And I've seen other people say this, so I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that, you know, because I know um, you can kind of feel that, you know, if you don't like vanilla Minecraft, then there's something wrong with you. But there isn't really. I mean, there's no right way, right or wrong way to play this game or any other game. Because you get a lot of that in, you know, kind of like, well, you know, you, well, you're playing it wrong. You're not actually playing it wrong. You play it how you want to play it. But, you know, you do kind of, sometimes you do kind of feel um, intimidated. It's not quite the word, but that kind of feeling, if that makes sense, is kind of like, you feel like you're not really doing it right because, really? stupid bits of gravel so yeah I don't know if I've really made myself oh this is I thought this was like proper gravel but it's tin gravel wait a minute do I have ore excavator in this I really don't know I thought I took it out. Maybe I didn't. Let's have a quick check. Um, mod options. A to Z. Actually, Z to A, because O is in the middle somewhere. Uh, OP. Oh, oh, I did leave it in. I thought I took it out. Okay. Alright, well, that's not too bad then. Do I actually have a pickaxe? That's the next question. Um, yes, I have a stone pickaxe. And I have stone slabs that I need to probably get rid of. Let's just put them randomly in somewhere that doesn't have ores. And then we can pretend it's an art installation. Okay, so what's that? Mag, mag, magnetite. That is um, iron. And we always need loads of iron. So let's excavate this. I'm pretty sure there's drills in this though. It's probably going to be covered in a later quest. Because obviously I am very early game. I'm not even going to pretend that, you know, I'm not early game. We're early game. Uh, let's fill out some of these. Oh, these are where we had veins and stuff. All right. I need to refill. Oh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. And we need another pickaxe. Did I bring down a... A table? No? No? Well, not really, because I just, I didn't really, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to, um, to mine, was I? I wasn't going to record, I should say. I was just planning to just do some, do some stuff, and then, oh, okay. We have a cave. Let's light this puppy up. A 
I think there's something. Yep, there's something down there. Uh, zombie, I see you. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Right, come. Come, buddy. Thank you. Uh, more zombies? Yep, okay. I wonder if there's a spawn. No, well, there probably is a spawner. That is, that is a dumb statement, Shane. Of course there's a spawner up there. Uh, solidified experience. That's always good. And, of course, I'm full. Yep, there's a spawner up there. Right, that's it. You don't hit me. Don't hit. You don't hit a lady. Did, did your mother never tell you that? You don't hit a lady. Uh, quartz. Iron bars. Put that in my thing. Do we need rotten flesh for anything? To be honest, I don't know. Um, I put those two up there. Get the solidify. I was only one of them. I thought it was more than one. But I can eat that to get experience. Eat some apples. Oh, there's a zombie villager. Where's the zombie villager? I just saw it appear on my um on the the subtitles. Yes, there is a spawner up there. Okay. Or well, maybe if we go that way. Let's do that. And let's go this way. So, um, yeah, I forget what I was saying before all the excitement. Never mind. I was probably on a rant about something. Because, you know, as you do, I just talk. I'm always talking. I'm known for me just chatting all right that's done but yeah oh we know what we need to do we need to use the um the scanner i don't even know if i have it on me do i have the scanner uh no let's go upstairs and get the scanner because that now has the block thing so that i can use it to find things other things the block module that we made um two episodes back and then i said i was going to use it and then i never did i kind of forgot about it um of course now looking for said scanner um nope not in there there's the scanner did I put the block module in it? That's the next question. Because if you shift and right click, yeah. Okay, when you shift and right click, it opens up the scanner. It already has these three modules in it. So it looks for rare ores. It looks for common ores. And it has a range module. The module that we made was the scanner module block. So use on a block to configure the module. So um, I haven't found a block to use it on, but you can swap these out. So you store all the inactive ones there. Actually, you know what? We never actually looked to see what other modules you can make. So we could probably do that as well. Um module okay so you got the blank one range which is in there animals for non-hostile mobs 
monsters, hostile mobs, common ores we have, rare ores we have, blocks we made, structures. Well, we don't really need, I don't know if any villages actually spawn if you have lost cities. I, I have seen it in some mod packs, but I don't know if this is one big lost city. Fluids, all right, we don't want that. And entities, use on an entity to configure the module. Okay. So yeah, so the block, the block one we didn't actually use. But I don't know if we need to use it. Because we don't have, um, What's castle right? Oh, tin. Okay. Cobble, there's more tin. It would be nice if they could, you know, at least let us know what these different things are. Gold is there. More tin. That's iron. Cass Cassiter, right? That's um, that was tin, wasn't it? But it would be nice if it would have been nice for them to actually say, "Well, this is what this is," rather than having all these exotic names and you having not the foggiest what it all is. All right, we need some more planks, which means we need more wood. Oh, that's a different type of plank. I couldn't work out why it wouldn't change. <laughs> that's a bit rubbish. Okay. Um. <sighs> okay. This this pack is. This pack is interesting. It's very grindy, but I mean. They did say it's grindy. It's not like it's false advertising. I'm I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's very grindy. <laughs> it's very, very grindy. But like I said, it's not false advertising. They did say it's going to get grindy. And Greg Tech is known for that. So, you know, put that up there. Although I have no idea what that is. Copper? That is here. The dust we can put there. Rubies. What can you do with rubies? Rubies will make you things. Pickaxe head. So if you make a ruby pickaxe, uh, two fifty six. It's not much of not much dura durability. Okay. I was kind of hoping it would be. Um, have we smelted down everything yet? Oh, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. But we need loads of... Oh! Okay. Iron is complete. Oh, okay. I didn't realise you got Omni Nickels for those. Tin. Oh, you need a stack of these things. Okay. Stack of do I not have a stack of copper? That's like easy money. 
That's definitely like easy money. I didn't realise that. And um, there's only 30 copper in there. Now I know that, I'll have to remember to try and do it. Alright, we've got tin, we've got copper, we got a bit of gold. Antimony. I've heard of that. I have no idea what it is. That's iron. What's that one? Is that tin? No, it's nickel. Is that tin? Yes. Um, put in the gold and the antin antin oh antimony. And what else do we have? And this stuff. The dust. I guess we might as well just put the dust in, in a chest. Because they'll, they'll come in useful for stuff. I don't know what stuff. But I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, dark steel. Do we have... Yeah, we do. Is that not dark steel? Oh, that's steel. Okay. Totally different thing. Put you up there. Alright, now we've emptied out our inventory. Let's go back downstairs. Is there a dank null in this? Something that you can use to put or a mining backpack? Dank? No. Uh, mining? No. Something to get something to get rid of all the cobblestone that you invariably pick up. Iron ore. Because it is really annoying that you go mining and you end up with 150 cobble, 150 million stacks of cobble. So let's go downstairs and then I will finish off the episode because, I mean, I can't believe it, but I've just sat here and talked for half an hour <laughs> and, and that's it. So, um... Thanks very much for listening to me talk and rant and not make very much sense. Well, at least to my ears, I didn't make much sense. But thanks for listening to me talk and stuff for the last half an hour. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. I really love to read your comments and it really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode where I promise I'm not going to be doing housekeeping stuff. I'm not going to talk lots of stuff and we will get on with the mod pack. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.